welcome to Hollywood Studios. Wow. <laughs> do you know that reference? Put that down below if you do. <laughs> We were just talking, we were about, just them. talking about them yesterday. Well, to, yes, it's hot, it's humid. I went on a run today, guys. It's, it's official. Six the miles. Are over. Um, what else is over? Um, summer, it's like about to be over. fall. Vacations are over. It's officially registered. Matt is walk moving in. No, I'm going to the run. Oh. Um, registered, finally, officially registered. Fundraising committed. I committed with $3,000 to fundraise. And now the official like Jeff Galloway training schedules are out, so like it's officially training time. Right, and I was pointing out like our life changes, like yes. there's no choice. No choice now. So I went on a six mile run today. It was a bit rough because I went later than I wanted, so it was humid, but I did it still. Um, just over an hour. So. Meeting up with the Earhart's in Toy Story Land. <laughs> One man stream is back, baby. I think the Earhart's might actually want to watch that. So we'll love to ask totally because they're, they've been to Marceline, like they've got a family stone like in front of the new Marceline, Missouri Museum. Museum. I messed up all my words just there. <laughs> um, so they might actually want to take a break from AC and go watch it because we tried doing that when the family was here and it was an incredible super view. Right. So we're going to head into Toy Story Land. They have a fast pass. And then we're just going to go with the flow. Look at this cute tangled sun on the block here. Peter's being super creepy and checking out the strollers to see if they're here. <laughs> people, people just leave their children with us. So I guess they're like, hey, trusting. Can you watch this human being? Like, <laughs> and I just want to point out, I really enjoyed this corridor right here. And I feel like they purposely made it seem like they're going to try to hold on to a little bit of the studio's um, aspect to it because they can't really do much to the back side of this and you see the Chinese theater and the advertisements. That's a DVC hut, which like they made look like the old, like the, the, the front of the park. And I just realized, Sarah, did you ever see the back of this building as it used to be a functioning piece? And it's called right there, there's a sign that says Roy O. Disney Production Center. I never saw it before until just now. I'm gonna get a closer look. So right there is the back side of One Man's Dream, Roy O. Disney Production Center. Studios used to be like part theme park and part like actual production studio. You can see buildings back over there behind um, behind Rock and Roller Coaster that is like a full on soundstage and giant building that they do use for special events or don't use at all or convert into corporate offices. Like I know a lot of people who work have, do or have worked in the corporate offices in, in these areas, right? Right. This is our current struggle. <laughs> so this is the real vlogger struggle. Um, when your G7X gets more speckles underneath it because you're a, a fool at Clearwater Beach months ago. I literally am using a twig off the Toy Story Land's ground to clean, uh, clean the lens of my G7X. I promise, like our goal is to, at the end of 2018 to get a new camera. It's just very expensive. So. The G7X may be out of commission indefinitely. That little speck has been there for weeks. You guys have been great when it comes to like not destroying us in the comments about that. But there's a new speck, and I don't know if it's a speck of dust or particle, or if it's a notch in the glass. I think our G7X may officially be out of commission. Just super unfortunate because we did not think we'd be buying a camera anytime soon. We gotta figure it out, but uh, we're hanging out, getting some AC and a break at Backlot Express, and I told Sarah, I was like, you know, let's do a really just like a good montage of it because we don't think it's gonna stay themed like this. We think the restaurant will be here, but we don't think the the theming is gonna stay the same for the foreseeable future. You got some puffs? <gasps> Hi. You got some puffs? Those are tasty. Can I have one? I'm just joking. You can have. So we're gonna grab a. We're gonna grab some snacks and some drinks and hide out in the AC, but we're gonna roll with a, a cool montage of all the old theming stuff. Hi. I, I pointed you on the vlog, I said, people just find us and leave their children with us, yeah. whether they know us or not. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm, you guys seem like good babysitters. We just met, you, we just met her today. Mm -hmm. I mean, I needed a break. They know. <laughs> <laughs> She's the best.
love our friends, but they want to do Muppets, and of course Sarah's jumping on it to the bandwagon to do Muppets. I do love Muppets, but I honestly have, I don't know if I've ever actually watched it and have stayed awake during the whole thing. You know, first of all, I dislike attractions where you have to wait in a big room prior to getting in there, and it's an air-conditioned, extremely comfy, cozy seat. I don't think I've ever stayed awake during the entire attraction, so I think we're like hanging out in the gift shop before we do that. There are just so many little details in here I've never noticed. Piggy. Karen's birthday tomorrow! Look at these ears! Those are fishy, my friend. waiting in rooms. All right, so we came in perfect time. We only waited like 30 seconds. Sarah pointed out right here, inside the waiting area, the pre-show waiting area, this little chicken right here, pointed out that this right here is a, a net full of jello. So, cool homage to uh, one of the classics right there. actually stayed awake the entire time during Muppets. Good job! And I That's loved it. Ever I've it. never it's seen the Americana sequence there with the little, the little Muppets. The salute to all nations yes, and I've, America. Yes, but I've never seen that before, which makes like Magic Kingdom make a little bit more sense. Uh -huh. With Sam Eagles like, oomph. But we're gonna, I think we're gonna try to, we had one in the washroom. Um, so we're gonna try to meet our friends. That we're gonna see BB-8 and maybe Kylo. We're just kind of chilling. It's, it's rain. It's raining all day, but it's like a drizzle, but keeping the, the temperature down, crowds down. So it's been good because they're that. like they're just like us. They, they stick it out. Um, Sarah, do you remember Avengers Part One? Is it in theaters? Avengers. Infinity War. Yeah, Infinity War. Yes, but I think you said Avengers. No, Infinity War Part One. Do you remember Infinity War, War Part One? I need to know who designed this back thing because that looks suspiciously similar to the one ominous scene that we all know about. So that's what I need to know. Welcome. Thank you. Join us. Are you gonna be part of the resistance? Are you gonna be part of the big guys? You're one of the big guys. Hi. Yeah. 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 Bye, BB-8. Have a good day. My name is Katrina. Is your name Katrina? Where are we? Toy Story Land, and we're gonna mobile order we're mobile for the crazy. first time. Yeah. So we got Woody's lunchbox now open. Order food, and then you build your order. This is called a tutorial, guys. This is great. Tutorial. The brisket's really good, but we're not getting that, right? We're getting the tachos. Yeah. So we're gonna add that, and then we're gonna add what did we say? Vegetable macaroni salad. The vegetable macaroni salad. Couple, Some cups of water. Two tree cold waters. Guys, this is like amazing. So right there now it says your order will be freshly prepared once you tap. The button, please arrive before 10.30 p.m. I'm here to prepare my order. With my order number 12.99, so we got tachos and the veggie mac salad. Booyah. Oh, don't look at the last four digits of my my debit card. Oh, right, you can see there, hooray, Peter, your order 12.79 is ready. That took literally like, not even two solid minutes. Like literally, did not take 120 seconds. And then, uh, 
and you just go up this path here and there's a mobile order pickup window right there mobile order pickup so rather than going through all this you just come right here that looks like it's mine it's right here so here's the tachos there's the max out i'm a bit av advocate of the veggie max out because it's a dollar cheaper than the potato barrels and it's larger in size what do you think that's delicious. Yeah. Hi, it's like She's doing it for the vlog. She actually hates it. No, I love it. And I like olives. They actually have a veggie, they have a meat and a meatless version of the tachos because Christina isn't eating meat. We were here with them and they got one like this and one with all veggies. Guys, guys, after that delicious Woody's lunchbox, we're doing something crazy. This is only saying 60 minutes. And Katrina, Ben, and I are going to go on this. She made it? Let's go. I don't think it's a full 60. Um, Sarah and I waited about 60 and it was probably 20 minutes into this queue. But hopefully the rain just stays away because this is not covered. This will be the second time I go on this. Super pumped. And it'll be the first time at night. Alright. We waited 40, about, I'd say, been 40 minutes. It was 40 minutes. Katrina slept. She's now awake and ready. This VIP tour guide right here has brought this family here three times since we got in line. That we are aware of. Yeah, we snuck in actually. But uh, here we are. <laughs> are you ready? Slinky dog. Woo, baby. Second time ever. 40 minute wait. Nighttime first ride. <laughs> So that right there is a 10 minute standby Toy Story Mini, which we're still not used to seeing, and this young man right here is definitely not used to seeing. Never, never, ever. How slow, how quick, how short of a line that is. Slinky Dog, what do you think? It was great. Not for my three year old, but awesome. She's awesome. not, she wasn't little thrilled. Too much. She little wasn't too much. thrilled. But, but at nighttime, that was my first nighttime. Gorgeous, but I was telling Ben, daytime, the views are better. And I feel like you can absorb it better because it is a very fast ride. And so right now at nighttime you're kind of like, whoa, whoa. During the daylight, it's it's much easier to like absorb in the atmosphere around the whole park. Hello. We're here for fireworks. Here. Finish up the night. I kicked butt on Toy Story Mania while you were on the ride. Yeah. I finally got my best. 1977, a triumphant year in screen history. It is 12.24, we're going to bed, tomorrow's Monday. She's a little sassy right now. We're going to bed. Thank you for following along. We love you guys. Um, we really do. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>